Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Time Machine application that comes with your Mac with an external hard drive to back up everything off your computer. I'm using a really simple USB hard drive here. It only has one connector for the USB cable. It ends up, this one gets its power through you through the USB also. Some of them have a separate power cable. The next step is to simply plug the other end of the USB into the computer. Of the various connectors on the side of your Mac, there's a lot of different styles. The USB one is rectangular and a little flatter than the others, so I'll just plug that in there. Now, plugging a drive in while your computer is on is perfectly fine. Unplugging it while it's on is not a good idea. Um, I'll show you in a minute how you can eject it using a command on the computer. Okay, well now let me show you how to go set up the Time Machine software. So you'll see now that I've plugged that drive in, it shows up on my desktop here with an icon that has the USB symbol on it and kind of looks like an external hard drive. And it has the name of the model here, so I'll click on that and give it a better name, like Time Machine Backup. So now it's time to go configure the Time Machine application. It's under System Preferences, and here you'll see the Time Machine icon. So the first step is to select which disk to use for backups. Well, in this case, there's only one, that one I just plugged in. So I'll select it and choose Use for Backup. And you can see it's ready to go now. In less than two minutes, if I don't do anything, it will start backing up my system. So I'm going to turn it off right now because I want to make sure that I have time to show you a few other things here. The first thing is, I always check this box there, Show Time Machine Status in the menu bar. When I do that, you'll see a little Time Machine logo shows up here. That's a handy place to always um, have access to this Preferences page and also to do a manual backup. And on the first line, you'll see um, the current status of either the last time you did a backup or if a backup is currently being performed. The other thing I want to show you is this Options button. You can see here, um, basically what Options is for is listing the items that you don't want to have backed up. So it starts off saying basically not to back itself up, so that makes sense. Um, if you wanted to add things to this list, you would click the plus sign. But for now, I'll just leave it as my whole um, internal hard drive. You can also see that it estimates the size of the full backup. So you can see I'm cutting it pretty close. I've got 246 gigabytes to back up, and I have just slightly more than that on the drive. Hopefully it'll work, but uh, we'll find out here. So I'm going to click Done. And now I'm ready to um, do a backup. So I'll turn this on. But you can see it's put it off now for another 25 minutes. So I'm just going to start a backup manually. So that's up here in the menu bar. And I'll just say backup now. And another nice thing about this system preferences page for Time Machine is you can see status right here. Uh oh. Well, contrary to what it said, it, now it's telling me that the backup is too large for the backup disk. Uh, I had a feeling this would happen because I was cutting it so close. Um, the reason that it thinks it needs 283 gigabyte, even though, um, what was it, I only had 246 gigabytes of, of stuff, is it, um, it pads the estimate so it has a little working space. Um, oh, actually, if I had read this, I could see it. Time Machine needs workspace on the backup disk, etc., etc. So, um, so I'll click OK here, and 
I'll click the Options button, and I'm going to take advantage of the ability to exclude stuff. Um, my music folder is by far my largest folder, so for now I'll just exclude that. You can see it calculated that that is 62 gigabytes of music. So now the estimated backup has dropped a bunch. I'm pretty darn sure that this will fit on there, even with the working space. So once again, I, I could wait two minutes for the backup to start, but I am impatient, and I will just start it up by selecting backup now. So you can see again, it's doing some calculations, and it's off and running. So let me pause the video here because this is going to take a few hours. I'll come back when it's almost done. Okay, it's been about a half an hour since I started the backup, and you can see it is just creeping along. Uh, it's only done 10 gigabytes of the 173 so far. So let me do some quick math here. Uh, that means 20 gig every hour. It's going to be about eight and a half hours, so about eight hours to go. So I think that's a good time for me to go to bed, and I will check in in the morning. Well, it looks like I didn't wake up in time. Uh, that backup finished at 5.02 a.m., a little earlier than I expected. And Time Machine is already doing another backup of just a few things that um, I worked on during that backup. Uh, this is a good, I'm just going to wait for that to finish up, but this is a good time to review what Time Machine actually does. Um, you can read right here that it'll do hourly backups for the past 24 hours, daily for the past month, and weekly for all the months before that. Now, that assumes you have a big enough backup disk, which I don't in this case. Um, you really should have a backup disk that's two or three times larger than the disk you're backing up. And when you do, then after using Time Machine for months, you can actually look back at past versions of, of certain files Basically, that's why they call it Time Machine, is you can look back in time to see how your computer was um, a few hours ago, days ago, or even weeks ago. So, just waiting for this backup to finish. Oh, let me show you. Um, up here on the Time Machine icon in the menu bar, you can see this is where that that same status that we've seen here in the um, preferences panel. That's what will always show here if you just go and click on the icon. Also note you can stop a backup if for some reason you need to shut down and you want to disconnect the uh, external disk, you can stop the backup. It's best if you can wait for it to finish, but if you're really in a rush you can stop it and the next time it will pick up and um, back up the files that it didn't finish backing up. Okay, so it's done. That backup must have taken 17 minutes because you can see it uh, said that it finished at 627, but the next one is already scheduled at 710. Now, you'll remember that I, to make it work, I actually excluded my music folder. But now what's really interesting is I can remove that music folder from the exclusion list, which sounds like a double negative. But now what that means is on the next backup, which is now scheduled two minutes away, on the next backup, it will back up my music folder. But since it will need less working space for that than it did for the whole backup the first time I tried it. I will hopefully get everything backed up, um, albeit with very little space left over. So with this 
relatively small external drive, I really won't be taking advantage of Time Machine's capability of having lots of multiple copies of files. And once again, I'm impatient, so I'm just going to kick that off right now. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps. Next week, I'll show you how to actually use Time Machine to look into the past and find files that you've deleted or find previous versions of files that you've edited. But as promised, I need to show you how to gracefully eject your USB drive. You can't just rip it out when you think everything is done. The thing to do is to select this, and as usual, there's multiple ways you can eject. I could right-click here and select Eject Time Machine Backup, or I could go up to the File menu, and there it is there. Or there's also a shortcut of Command-E. But regardless, you need to eject it like that, wait for the icon to disappear, and then you can remove the USB cord from your computer. Well, I hope that helps. I hope you start backing up all your hard work on your Mac, and that you have fun traveling back in time whenever you need to.